Well, now to another top story. We were the first ones to show you the surveillance video. Now, uh, now we know all of the St. Tammany restaurants that were burglarized over the weekend. Uh, the sheriff's office says they arrested a man from Memphis. Lily Cummings has been following the story and she's joining us now in the studio. Lily, we now know why this man was on the North Shore to begin with. Katie Sharice, that is right. And we now know that there were six restaurants in St. Tammany that were hit. The suspect got away with cash and liquor, but he didn't get far. This surveillance video shows a man investigators identified as 25 year old Malik Morris stealing money from Golden Dragon in Slidell around 430 Saturday morning. They think his next stop was Fatty's Seafood Restaurant around 515. Pete Amadeo says the restaurant's alarm system went off and dispatched Slidell police. They didn't get away with anything. Thank goodness. Did some damage to the door that they came into. They tried to steal our cash drawers. And um, he was unsuccessful in that because after he cut the cables to try to steal them, the police chased him off. Investigators say Morris hit four other restaurants in Covington earlier that morning, Haiku and Misaki, as well as a Mexican restaurant that asked to remain anonymous. This security footage is from Panda Buffet shortly before 2 a.m. Investigators believe Morris was familiar with the restaurants. So the type of business that uh, Mr. Morris was involved in, uh, he frequented a lot of restaurants. St. Tammany Sheriff's Office says Morris was in town for work and admitted to breaking in to all six restaurants. He also uh, admitted to a burglary here in uh, Covington in June of this year. Video shows a white box truck being used during the theft. Deputies spotted the truck Saturday afternoon and tried to pull it over, but the driver refused, leading deputies on a chase. There were several vehicles struck and some injuries uh, reported to some of the drivers. Doesn't sound like anything was serious at this point. Deputies say Morris was driving and later abandoned the vehicle. That's when deputies arrested him. While Morris sits behind bars, Amadeo says they're grateful for law enforcement and community support. Things good here. We're back to business as usual, and yeah, we're happy that the intruder and, and uh, criminals off the streets. Well, the sheriff's office was able to recover some of the money stolen from the other restaurants. Golden Dragon estimates more than a thousand dollars was taken from their business alone. Katie. Wow.